Good evening. I'm Nancy Grace. I want to thank you for being with us. After a disastrous PR junket by grandparents George and Cindy Anthony, including a botched appearance on Oprah, Top Mom's defense attorney piles on, speaking at length on camera. Science is science. It should speak for itself and it shouldn't be manipulated. And if it can, then it's not science. Don't forget, law enforcement has, uh, has a specific bias here. They have charged someone. They have uh, now have to make the square pieces fit into the circle holes one way or another. Who has her? Do you have, do you have a name? Her name is Zenaida Fernandez Gonzalez. As you sit here today and everything you've learned and everything you've seen, do you believe that to be true? I have no, I don't, you know, I have no idea who had, who took Kaylee. What do you want me to tell Sandy? That she needs to return Kaylee. Did you make any effort to try and locate this, um, Zanny? Did not. Did you ever dial or call or talk to this person? No, I have not. What do you want me to tell her that's going to make her bring her back? Just tell her that we forgive her. That all we want is is our Kaylee. Were you screaming bloody murder? This woman, Zanny's got my granddaughter. By gosh, why aren't we chasing her or anything like that? Against her, you're going to have to ask the sheriff's department, the FBI, and the private investigator. Read my question, buddy. Were you screaming bloody murder? This woman, Zanny's got my granddaughter. By gosh, why aren't we chasing her or anything like that? I'll just answer it yes or no. No. If she did commit this crime, should she be punished because whoever killed Kaylee deserves to be? Or would you like to see leniency because she's your daughter? Again, you know, um, we, want, we want the truth, you know, but again, we have to wait for everything to come out in trial. Straight out to Mark Williams, anchor and reporter standing by in Orlando. We are taking your calls live tonight. Mark. After this failed PR junket by the grandparents, including a botched appearance on Oprah, why did the defense attorney, who has no death penalty experience, feel it incumbent to give an at-length interview on air in front of the camera? Why? Well, we really don't know that, except he's probably has a pretty good relationship with Bob Keeling from WESH Television here in Orlando. One thing that uh, Baez did is he talked about the scientific findings of the Oak Ridge Lab in Tennessee. That's the so-called body farm. Nancy, as you know, uh, they say that there may be decomposing air or, or air of uh, decomposing body in the back of Casey's trunk. Baez says that's not conclusive. That's not positive, it's not conclusive whatsoever. He says this scientific research is not ready for prime time. But he bordered, uh, and he stopped just short of calling it junk science. Uh, Baez went on to say the scientific findings reached by Oak Ridge has not received peer review as of yet. And he says it probably won't see the light of day in a court of law. Well, you know what? Uh, that's what they said about fingerprints, mm -hmm. DNA, uh, a, a host of forensic testing that is now uh, every day by rote, by routine in courtrooms all across this country. I want to go out to a special guest joining us, Dr. Michael Arnall, board certified forensic pathologist. Dr. Arnall, I personally trained some of my training anyway regarding forensics at Oak Ridge Laboratories and I've never I've never been in Quantico before but I've never seen a more high-tech or advanced laboratory in my life and I've seen quite a few what can you tell me about this air sampling technology that they have used where over 20 components of human decomposition were found in the air in Tot Mom's trunk. What can you tell me, Dr. Arnall? Well, the technology is time-tested, and the technology itself is universally accepted. All they've done is to take this universally accepted technology and use it for a new application. And the science that I've seen looks like state-of-the-art. Of sunlight, 